Hi guys, today I'm gonna teach you on how to make a proper roof plan. Some of you, if you're a beginner, student, or even working, it would be a great help for you if you learn on how to make your roof plan more easy and quick. So guys, before we start, I will show you how a complex roof looks like. This is one of the recent projects I made. This was already completed. That's the cover page and that's the roof plan. If you look at the floor plan, it had a complex outer walls and that is very challenging to make. That's the elevation. It had different level of roofs. You can see. Different levels. That's the section. That's the roof plan. So what I'm going to teach you is how to simplify the basic tips on how to make your roof plan easy to make even at the very complex walls. So be sure to watch. One of the example, uh, one of the project I'm currently working now is this. It's not that complicated compared to the other one. So let's let's proceed, guys. Whenever you make a floor plan, make sure you start with the outline and make sure this wall. Let's say this is the shape of your house. Let's say I'm gonna do a quick sketch like that. If you had a plan, make sure you start or make your walls. These walls, the measurements of this wall, if you can make it equal, that's better. Or this wall should be bigger than this wall on front that's because it in this drawing if we connect it we draw the shape of the roof plan let's see how it's gonna look like it exceeds on this center of the roof and that looks so bad if you look at it from the elevation and we don't want that this part you see that this will make your roof looks ugly that's why don't make do it don't make this wall look smaller than this one Second is, I had this plan I prepared for you. Use the rule of what I call the finding the biggest rectangle or square. Maybe some of you still don't know that, even my school didn't taught me how to do that. Find the biggest box. Don't start from the edge like this, like this, like this. You can make it but probably you will fail or just waste a lot of your time and cost you your project and just end up failing not meeting those edges. So here, let's remove all of those and I'll show you what I mean. Finding the biggest box. Let's begin by finding the biggest wall. This had long distance than this one. That's why let's ignore this because it's not the biggest wall. The biggest box will be this. You can find this as the biggest shape of the house. That means the Room of the house will start from this, not from this shape. Okay, find the center. Use your 45 degree here. 
here. Let's focus on the biggest shape. Here, here. That's the main roof you had there. Now after you find this part of the roof, you can begin with the smaller parts. Like this. You connect that. And just erase the axis. Because that is just from the imaginary line. Now this. And just connect it to the edge. Connect it. Now since you found this. This looks confusing but what you have to do is. Just erase it. Since this is all connected here. That is just an imaginary line. Now we can make the new roof like this. Use your 45 like this, like that, and here. And connect that. Now we can do the back part. Same thing. 45, 45. And meet those edges. That's all. I tried so many I tried it different times and different method but this is the fastest believe me Now let's do the level 3 I will show you another example on a more complex shape Now same thing guys Find the biggest shape of the house never start from the sides you can make it but you will still fail most of the time and just wasting your time just trying to meet those edges. That's why I don't recommend that. Let's do the method of finding the biggest box. Now it's obvious we need to draw an imaginary line here, here. Now always connect it so this is will be the point where the 45 degree will start. Always connect it. Okay. Another side is here. This is just an imaginary line that would really help us simplifying the roof. We have the water edge four edges that's the biggest box now let's connect it with the 45 45 45 and the main ridge this is going to be the main roof of the house everything is going to start easy by now doesn't look exactly straight because it's just a free hand hope you understand now let's do here same thing 45 here and now we can also do this part this and again here oops this part will be challenging as you know it's not centered now let's do the traditional or basic method of just trying to figure out by making angles let's ignore that let's connect it and it doesn't meet there's something wrong about this what it means by that Let's try to figure it out by just drawing random lines. Maybe here. Still not. This is going to be a brain exercise for you guys. Let's erase it. until we find it hmm. I'm thinking 
But this became easier because we already found the main roof. And that main roof will never be wrong. That's why it's easier if you start with the main roof. This is going to be challenging and I'm thinking how... Sorry for the chicken. <laughs> hmm. Okay, you found it. This is the problem. We need to separate this side and let's assume that this doesn't exist. Let's assume. To make it easy. Now let's erase it. Just ignore this. And we connect this and now we have a non-centered meeting point. But it's connected, it's right. Because the main roof is going to be our base. Now we can reveal this. Sure, the 45 degree here, same thing here. And that will be the ridge. It will have an L shaped ridge. Now this is just imaginary and you can remove that. So see guys, took us less time. And if you do that without starting at the base, it cost you or maybe never, never going to complete it. Now we can just draw the other part here. And the back part, this would also look different, but let's try just by doing the lines and use the main roof as the base because that can't be wrong. This is right, and this is wrong. Hmm, something. Try to figure out by just drawing random lines that would help us. Hmm. Let's erase it. Again. Okay. Five here. Here. This is right. That can't be wrong. At least we had something to rely on. Now we can meet and here we find it. That is how it's going to look like. Is this connected? There's the meeting point of the base and forty five here, here and another here now we got it right now we can do those remaining parts this 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 it didn't cost us so much longer time i believe if we didn't do the basic method of finding the center it would cost us so much time That didn't take more time just like before. I think less than two minutes. That's the main part of the house. We can do it all connected, everything. Just delete all those imaginary lines. Now we got it perfectly. That's a level two and the level one. I hope you learned more from this drawing guys 
Next, I will teach you more complex one with different levels that just like what I showed you earlier on the video before we started. That would be a great lesson. So guys, that's all. Hope you like and subscribe. Next, I'll be making more video on tips on how to make your drawing easy. And also, I'll be I'm planning to make a video on how you start your freelancing business or how to get your clients. Bye. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And comment of what you want to learn on the next if you had questions. Bye.